I've been looking at the input side of the shift register circuit and uh, built up a breadboarded version so that I know what I need to solder. And we have the shift register with two inputs, two buttons, doesn't matter what they are, doesn't matter what they do, we're just going to detect that those buttons have been pressed and it's up to the software to decide what it needs to do with it. And the way that the circuit works is that when the button's pressed, the data line goes high, the data line is read by the uh, Nerduino, and that triggers an interrupt which tests every pin on the shift register, and if the pin is high, it means that the button's pressed, and it also means that we can test uh, more than one button at the same time. And I have the serial monitor here that's going high and low when I'm pressing the button, so you can see multiple presses, and I'm pressing the left button, pressing the right button. The slight wrinkle here is that I'm also looking to integrate two of these joystick modules, and the joystick module has uh, two analog outputs, which are for the X and Y axis, but they also have a button so that when you press the joystick, the joystick sends the data line from the breakout board low. And for a circuit that depends on having a line go high to detect a button press, this is obviously not a good idea. So I had to look at what I could do to work around this. And the way to work around this is to use a PNP transistor. And the PNP transistor will not allow any current to go from the emitter to the collector unless the base is low. So because this pin goes low when I press the button, that works perfectly. So I have the test voltage coming from the shift register, and that is going into the emitter, and then the data line from the collector is going back to the main board. So while there is no current on the base, that means that I'm not getting a signal at all back to the data line. And you can see that's sitting there doing nothing until I press the joystick button and then I'm detecting that there is some current. So I can now integrate these joysticks into my remote control.